Hello guys and welcome back to a new series on the channel. My name is Fix and we are going to play Britain Walled Up version 1.41 on, or version 1.41, but that's easier to pronounce. Um, what I'm hoping, what I'm really hoping of this series is that we can make it into a amazing story. So the amounts of the video is going to be released at the moment of recording I've set my mind to one a week and why one a week why would you do that well I want to use all of your comments all of your advice your tips your tricks you name it into the story I will write everything down and people with the best advice best feedback that I will uh, name you of course as the advice giver in this story now this story this story is about Robin Hood if you are following me on social media then you know I was working on this so uh, I, I made up a little bit of a story so uh, here we go everyone always believed that the still formed in the 12th century but scrolls were found telling a tale that started in the year 636 a tale about a brave man who, after returning from a long war, found his house in ruin. A self-proclaimed lord had slayed it to ashes. Robin, infuriated and filled with the need of revenge, set out to confront this lord. But looking down at his army, he knew that he would not win this fight alone and retreated. On its way back, to his former house, he crossed the field covered with death. His mind once more troubled about what he just witnessed. He forgot all about his own revenge and set a new goal. He would fight for the weak and steal from the rich to make a better place for all under his banner. Knowing this would be a long and hard road, he was hoping to find some companions, some merry men. Okay, this this is the story that we are going to build our hopes and dreams about. So let's start a new game. Let's start a new game, and uh, don't forget, first episode, just do me a favor, massive favor, pound that like button. Uh, you can choose to do the prelude. It will tell you about the history of this mod pack and about the ages that we are working in uh, I'll not do that because it takes kind of a long time so let's go for character creation we are a male now I'm not sure what to pick but I'll probably go for Britain because he is a oh, a British man his father his father he was not a small man, no, he was a lesser noble. Uh, in his childhood, he, well, I don't see a lesser noble. I could see him as a cleric, a co uh, because you always have, uh, if you look at the Christianity, the, usually the, and that's in the Netherlands, uh, the first son would become a priester, and if it was a daughter, she would go and become a nun. So the firstborn was going to God, but he was brought up in a noble court. His vocation, I was thinking about doing as a, a poacher. Yes, as a poacher. He was a poacher because um, he would say, where is it? Yeah, then um, you look for the local lord's own forest, and so we're in the forest of our own, our own father, our local lord, and we would hunt uh, stags, boars, uh, geese. So that would really lay the foundation of the arrows that we're going to use. Now we set personal revenge, lost, wanderlust, religious fever, being forced out of our home. We are being forced out of our home. It's been burned down. And I think, let's take a quick look, Celtic Christianity, I think we go for Roman Christianity. Let's continue. This is always the part that I found the most, most difficult, choosing the banner. There's so 
amazing looking banners. We could go for this, but this is kind of more like the Wiccan, Wiccan tr icons. And that's all about it. So let us take a quick look. Okay, uh, we're probably going to take the boar. Now, I, I, I know there are ways that you can add a custom banner. But I don't know how that works. So if you do know that, do let me know in the comment section how did I, I can make my own personal banner. And as you know, I am absolutely horrible at making my own creation. So if you are creative and you want to make the banner for the series, then send it to my email address or join me on Discord, on the Steam group. I don't know where you can post it. Twitter, Facebook, you name it. So, we are going to allow myself to, <laughs> well, it, the thing is, if you don't choose that, and if something goes wrong with your save file, you don't have any backups. I don't like that. So, Robin Hood. Of course, uh, Robin Hood, it was also, uh, it, it was named a bit differently at, at the very beginning. Uh, there's also three suspects of being Robin Hood, as far as I found on the wiki and the lore. Uh, but uh, we're going for the one that is the most known, just this name, Robin Hood. Now, power draw, power throw. Yeah, maybe I'll get a bit better at power throw. Uh, we got some athletics always. Nice. I would like to get some weapon mastery. Foraging. I love this. This is so easy. It will help you feed a large army without losing so much. Ludin. Uh, I said that my personal skill is going to be Ludin. Perhaps trading because we are needing to increase our leadership. So we need charisma and for looting we need agility. But uh, agility will also help you with uh, movement speed. And it will give you some more weapon points. So going par and par with the weapon mastery that we're probably needing a bit, a bit higher. Strength, don't know. Two, how far? Spotting, six. I love that. I love spotting this high. Uh, inventory management, love that skill, we will need to use it. Um, we're going to find some companions at some point, and I, I know what I'm going to call them, and they all have their small, small storyline as well. So, uh, before I continue and really talk my way through this entire episode, okay, power draw, we need strength, so let's go and do this one more in strength. Agility, let's go for six so we can have. Two in weapon mastery, increasing our archery skill and our one-handed weapon. Uh, furthermore, shall we do a point in intelligence? Yes. Let's do two in two leadership and one in. Well. I say one in, in trading. So let's continue. This is how he looks now. I think he is looking way too clean getting after a long and long fight. Wow. Uh, okay, let's just reset everything. Let's do it like this. Uh, what kind of beard do we like? Does Robin have a beard? This looks. Ah, this is too smirky. Now he does have something. Ah, uh, no. Take a look. This is too much. I'm a lord. Uh, this is more like I'm Japanese or Chinese. I think this one. Because he was in a long fight. Now, ooh. Oh, uh, this looks so much like some of my other characters now. Yes. Well, different hair color, please. Let's go for a black hair color. Making these sparkles in his face. Because, ah, he's seen so much. And it really, really worked on his skin. They didn't have any skin carriage in that, uh, in that time. So, I'm going to use it like this. Now, if you want to read it, I'll scroll down slightly. But we are kind of following, following our own story. So, well, this is not really scrolling down slowly right no and let's go to the uh, lower one oh no we are being attacked Arr. okay so where's this man coming from wait a minute 
Keep on the move. Damn, in the face here. Yeah. Arrow. One more to go. There you are, come here. Are you alright? Well, I guess you're alive. Let's go to this man's house. Hello, I'm Robin Hood. Hey. So, he's going to tell you all about the dangers of this land. and I'm, I'm here to stay, merchant. It is wrong to think that misfortune comes from the west or from the east. They originated with our own minds. That's actually very much true. Let's pick that one. Let's be the kind fella. So, that gave us a bit of money. We don't really have a starting quest. Now, take a look. This land, absolutely incredibly large and I love that I love that we can make this a long long series now let's for our own vision uh, London Wick or London so uh, it would be uh, let's see Britain Wales Scotland well, Scotland and Ireland or but at the moment they are not called that way now character pool we start with 70 renown because of our choices of being of a noble Noble blood. Yes. Uh, we start out with uh, some furs. 211. And 150. Look at this. A knife. I fought in a war and they gave me a knife. Bastards. Okay, how are we going to cope with that? Let's go to the smaller villages. Let's take a few. You can force uh, recruits, but I've been told that they will leave eventually. Buy cattle, hostile actions, meet elder. Let's just do. Oh, great. One. Out of everything I've done for you, you gave me one. Uh, once again, did this mod feel so easy to use? I love it already. Uh, let's go and confront these, these bandits. Oh, surrender or die. Ah, but he looks great as well. Okay, let's charge the enemy. Um, yeah, don't forget your troops. Really, I, I stumble. <laughs> that was brilliant. I love that. Stumbling over my own box. Now, come here, you peasants. Uh, let's go. Uh, I've every uh, all the default uh, options from the mod are still active. So we'll have movement speed. We have weapon breakage. We have everything that will probably be very annoying to us at the long game but uh, settings are on high and hopefully we'll win this uh, I hate them rocks uh, okay it will take me some time to get used to I always feel if you do not zoom in, uh, it, shooting arrows is a bit easier for some weird old reason. Okay, guys, go in. Oh, great. Do not get killed, my friends. You are the first of many. Hello? <laughs> Come here! Ah! We won! Yeah! Oh, uh, we have to bury two dead. Poor bastards. No, uh, please give me the screen that I can stop this fight. Thank you. Now, let's. Uh, that's the. Oh, the, I love this. I love this. You do not need prison management, it will grow with your size of army. So, that's brilliant. Um, now, you have options. You can leave the, that to rot and loot the corpses. Every choice will have. Uh, that option so uh, bury burn the death uh, cure wounds and leave any remaining loot for scavengers now this will not give us any mon uh, money so I'll go for the longest option for now and eventually if we have enough then uh, we'll do the other one so let's take a quick look 21 ooh but some very very nice expensive stuff for us to use uh, we got some some hats uh, let's do the club because I like to knock him out instead of killing him. Sickles. 
and now with looting, looting getting higher and higher, we will have more to do. I, I'm not going to take them with us rocks. So it will skip some time now. Now during this time, you can be attacked. So if you are in the midst of enemy territory, you might want to pick a lesser option. Great one. Ancient runes. There are so many different things in this mod. Let's see if we can evade. What the heck was that? I was really looking around me and just like, hey, right, that, that's a weird time for the church to start ringing their bells. But uh, it's it's noon. Okay, ten units. Ten units uh, against seventeen. No, I I don't think so. Uh, let's attack these four. Uh, at night time, hopefully, um, hopefully this is not going to be too dark. If this is going to be too dark, uh, I'll have to increase the gamma. So let me know in the comment section. If this is too dark, just say it so I can do something about it. Now, where are they? It's raining as well. Wow. Oh boy. There you go. No. Yes. Oh, no. Charge. Help me, my man! Wow, he scared me. I was, I, I had this, the, the feeling I would, that someone would show up, but uh, no, right in my face. Let's go. Do not get taken out. Nice job. Did I lose anyone? No. Victory. Okay, let's get these prisoners out. We did level up. Done. And get some nice stuff again. Oh, we really need to sell. Uh, this might be a very, very mis large mistake. Now, skills. Hmm. Powder roll would be nice, but I personally trying to get agility up to nine as well to get um, Luden. And more weapon mastery. Well, do we really? Yes, we need it. Now it's actually a bit of points. So let's go for strength then. Let's go for one in strength and do some power strike. Done. And I'll see back once we have some more troops. And let's go sell. No, is this a castle? Okay, this is the town. This is the town. Uh, yeah. Come here. Recruit. Let's start into this village. Okay, so there are a few. You got a lair you can make. Um, Selene, that is where you can place your prisoners to work. I'll show you probably later on in the series. And a supply wagon. I have not built this yet because you need building supplies as well as two mules. Now I cannot afford mules just yet. Okay, good. We are running a minus. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Okay, that will give us 987. If you are into this series as well, let me know for some good trading advice. Where can I pay, uh, place or where can I buy the best materials? Now let's get some bread so we can have a sandwich. Shall we take a look at the meat hall? So we have a merchant. We have some dude, spearman and a ransom broker. 
Wow, wow. Really? Those weak guys for a hundred. I am impressed. I like that. So, you. Are you a companion? So, I'm a Sexton warrior and I fought my whole life against Britons and mercenaries. Wow, you are not going to like me. Uh, if you're looking for work, I can use experienced fighters and I do not plan to impose any kind of Britonic or Mare clan arrogance upon anyone. Nor Saxon arrogance, by the way. Well, okay. You won't regret this. Uh, okay, be good. Respect, Vanna, and our shield wall. 200. Okay. Well, this is now just uh, going to be our very first campaign, and then let's change him up. Right away. No. Back. How do I do it again? <laughs> no. Oh, yeah. Talk about skills. There we go. Took me a lot longer. So, this man. He was not named the way he was named just now. No, no. This man is called Little John. Now, Little John, Little John, or John Little. Uh, Robin Hood, he changed his name to Little John. Let's we just said He was a legendary fellow outlaw of Robin Hood. He was, uh, he was said to be a Robin's. Chief, Lieutenant and second in command of the Merry Man. Little uh, is in the form of irony because he is a absolute giant, giant guy. Um, so, he's skilled with a bow. So, we need to work on his archery and he's going to use poor weapons. Now, let's see what else I have found. So, he tried to prevent Robin from crossing a narrow bridge. Uh, whereupon they fought with quarter staves. Uh, but Robin was overcome, uh, despite having won the duel, uh, John agreed to join his band and fight along with him. Now this man, he's going to be my trainer, I'm thankful that he already has it, and he's going to be into tactics. He was already a four in leadership. So, we need a power weapon and a bow, and we'll work our way on, on, onto that. Uh, by the looks of it, he doesn't look very... Very bad at all. I'm glad that I took him. So, Little John. Please, change your name. Or I have to change it into the files. But, that will be so then in the next episode. I'm going to end the episode up here. I, I do hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, let me know. As I said, this is going to be our entire massive story. Uh, all your feedback, all your suggestions. They will be into the storyline and hopefully it will make something very very nice so as for now thank you for watching don't forget to like the button pound it upwards and i'll see you next time have a good day and a very good night goodbye